all right all right let's go 2023 new year new failed plans let's get this going okay first thing we got on the list is general topic that everyone's talking about right now that i'm definitely not two weeks late to all right cool next clickbaity thumbnail and title all right, good, good. And lastly, let's see here. Uh, a host that is so seething with rage that he just sits there and vibrates the entire time. All right, good. Well, this looks like the makings of a great video. New Year's same problems, and I'm here to yell about them. And look, we all knew this was coming. Like, all the AI stuff that's been going around, eventually I was going to have to talk about it. And just to be completely transparent with you guys, I don't hate AI art. In fact, I think it's pretty cool. I really like it. The thing that gets me is how AR is used and developed and just... I'll get into more detail soon. The last video was very thought out, detailed, and calm, so this time I'm just gonna scream into my microphone and you're gonna listen to me. Mama Elias has her drink, so we're gonna get this started. Do the thing! First of all, if you're looking for someone to talk about AIR in a way that's like in-depth and very detailed and not repeating points that everybody else has said, you came to the wrong video. I'm just an angry person yelling into an echo chamber. If you want more detail, there are other videos for it. In fact, there are already great YouTube videos and video essays out there that talk in a lot of detail about all the issues encompassing AIR. I'll put those videos in the link below, but for now, I'm just going to talk about my thoughts. So first, let me explain what is AI art. We use this term very broadly, but actually it's a very specific thing. When I say AIR, I'm referencing things like DALI, Stable Diffusion, and Midjourney. Specific AI meant to generate art based off different prompts that a person can give it. Now, like I said before, as a concept, AI art, I don't hate it. I mean, artists, let's be for real for a quick second. We use AI all the time. AI is an integral part of being an artist these days. It's practically in every software that could be found. These types of advancements are meant to help the people within the field get better and more efficient at creating whatever they're creating. In fact, if you're a solo creator like me and you're having trouble with coming up ideas, you know that things like Mid Journey and Dolly are amazing for creating concept art and getting your ideas into a place where you can start creating. Now, all of that sounds very good for artists if it wasn't used directly against us. The issue with tools like these when they're open to a public market is that they take away value from the people that actually create art. It's already pretty common knowledge that people these days have very low opinions of art. I wouldn't completely blame people though because this is much more of a systematic issue than an individual one. In the economy that America currently runs on, which is capitalism, art has a tendency to have a much lower value because it doesn't seem to serve a general purpose. Things like chairs, plates, phones, and computers all have purposes that they're meant to be used for. However, art doesn't have an exact use. Art has a much more emotional and cultural connection, so it's hard to put an exact value on that. And because there isn't a specific value, a lot of people believe that they can just place any value on art that they want, despite the fact that art is entirely subjective and everyone would have a different value system for it anyway. Now, I don't like the fact that things have to have value to be deemed important, but I'm not going to ignore the way the world works. Capitalism is based off of capital, and wherever the capital goes, the significance follows. Getting back to AI art, it's that movement of significance that's the big issue. We already know that if you want to struggle from meal to meal, then you should be an artist. But those issues get much worse when you start replacing actual artists with just AI clones. And when I say clones, I mean clones. Every artist references another artist. Everybody in our communities knows that ripping people off is kind of just part of the job. But a lot of us also know that there's a line to that. Hell, I won't lie, I go to ArtStation all the time just to take other people's color palettes. Then I just use that set of colors in my own work in some other way that I think is cool. What I don't do is just screenshot the colors, place them in the exact area, and just replicate the exact image. That's a problem that a lot of these AI are running into. Since it's just a code, it can't figure out exactly what is referencing and what is stealing. And because these AI don't know that, they end up legitimately just tracing and copying other people's artwork. If you're on Twitter, you've probably seen it. But some artists have found exact copies of their work in AI-generated images. I've also seen some really awful people saying things like, Well, if we could just generate the art, why do we need artists? Like the absolute f they are. And the thing is, there is an actual solution for this, but it has to do with how the AI art is generated in the first place. So the way AI art is made is very complicated, but I'll try to simplify it for this video. First things first, it's good to know that AI is just a code that is meant to learn. It goes through multiple revisions and tests, and it evolves over time. That's why AI algorithms like on YouTube and TikTok work so well, because they're learning based off people's behavior. And the more time a person spends with that AI, the more the AI gets to learn and gets to develop. But what's important is that AI needs something to learn 
learn off of. For things like TikTok, the AI learns off of what people like, what people view for a long time, and things like that. But for art, it's much different. What most developers of AR art do is that they collect a giant database of art that comes from the internet. They take these databases of art and then funnel it directly into the AI. The AIs also give it a bunch of words connected to each art piece so then it can learn what correlates with what. Which in the end gives us the ability to type out a prompt, the AI uses that prompt to identify different sorts of art and then combine it into a new thing. The big issue with this is that people are not consenting to giving their art to these AI. Now I know a lot of people are going to be like, well if you didn't want it taken then you shouldn't have posted it on the internet. And to people who think like that, I just have one thing to say to you, who hurt you? And if no one did, it's going to be me. Posting something on the internet is not consent for anything. No matter which way you see it from, taking people's work and then using that work as a basis for your own content and then selling that content is wrong. Considering these AI directly copy off of some parts of people's work, it's really immoral just to take those pieces of work and then sell it like it's your own. That's why things like copyright law exist, but they work very loosely in terms of the internet and specifically with new technology like this. However, the more this tech develops and grows and changes, the more it's going to change the art field. Income, jobs, and even livelihoods will change because of this. And sadly, right now, it doesn't look like it's going for the better, so what do we do? My words may not mean much, but here's some ideas that could be thrown around. I'm a bit late to this topic, and because of that, I think a lot of artists have started to realize something. AI art is not a passing cash grab like NFTs or something. The technology's too good, and it's so good in its early stages that it's only just gonna get better from here on out. And because of that, I think a lot of artists understand that AI is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. It's going to develop, it might get regulated eventually, and it's gonna change a hell of a lot, but it's still gonna stay. And with that, of course, there's gonna be people that misuse it and mistreat artists because of it because they want the money out of it. There will always be people out there that will undermine others' work for profit. It's just how it kinda is. However, that doesn't mean that we can't come up with ideas to still help artists and still develop things that work better for everyone. One idea that I don't know if other people have talked about is changing the way that AI sources its information. Instead of these AIs using resources directly from the internet and just taking them off without asking anybody, we instead create a database that people can collaborate with and give their art to. Like I said, there will always be people who try to undermine stuff like this, but even with that, I think it's important that we make something that's collaborative, something that both artists and AI developers can contribute to and benefit from. The only issue with something like this is that it would take a lot of community work. Artists are not really known for having time, so it would be kind of difficult to collaborate and put something like this together. That doesn't make it impossible though. There were a bunch of artists that came together and started doing a boycott throughout ArtStation. If you don't know what ArtStation is, it's basically a website where people post their portfolios and a lot of their work. Honestly, if you want to see some amazing art, just go there. People post the most amazing work I've ever seen on that place. But recently, more AI art has come onto the platform and people really didn't like that. So there was a huge boycott of people posting images that looked like this and their own different styles of it. It was a really cool thing. But overall, the gist of what I'm trying to say is basically just treat artists better. Art and artists have a history of being manipulated by people trying to make money. And even when art is profitable, it's usually mass produced to a point where people get really tired of it really quick. I'm not saying that's much of a bad thing, but it is something that happens to make art profitable. But a good thing we could do is just support artists in different ways individually. Yeah, it's a lot to ask, and since I'm an artist, it's kind of self-serving, but still. I'm fine with AI art. I'm fine with the idea that people use these references as a way to create new and interesting things just using code. What's not good is intentionally using other people's works to create your own profit. So please, if you can, go support any local artists or just any artists that you might find on Twitter or something. It's not even like you really have to send them money or buy anything from them. Like their video or post or comment on something that they've made. Boost their chances in the algorithm to get to someone that will pay for their services. That way we won't even have to worry about things like ARR because then will be supported in doing what we do best. So yeah, I know this video was a bit less organized than usual, and I'll get back to the more organized content, I just want to talk about this. So with that all out of the way, I've been Elias of Elias Entertainment, and this video is sponsored by Nor- No, psych, that's not actually what's happening here. I'm not sponsored, my channel's way too small for that. Instead, I just wanted to put a little ad here just to promote my new Twitch channel. I've streamed a few times already, and I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do in the future, but it's something that I really enjoy and I think is fun, and I want to keep doing it somehow. You get to see lots of behind the scenes of how I create everything that I do on my channel, and it's really fun just to communicate with people. And since I don't get any ad revenue from these videos or anything, if you donate to me on Twitch, it's basically the best way to support me since I also don't have like a Patreon or anything like that. So yeah, I'll just do the outro one last time. I've been Elias of Elias Entertainment. AI isn't bad, but if you misuse it and steal other people's art, then I'm coming for you. Happy New Year!